Time with the biggest race of the week for even now the Grade 3 Whitbread Gold Cup. This is probably the premier three mile five furlong handicap of the season. The tree runners at the top for Joshua Sutherland, activist Leon Van Rensburg, Haberley Darren Thompson, El Centro, wonderful Vinnie Gerard, Murty's Pride John Morgan, keep the contract Craig Beck with Dark and Tribulation and Grudge Belt for James Shea, Ronaldo, Matt Cooper, Saldron's Garden, Padre Hogan, finding Alice Martin in one this two seasons ago, Hot Springs Wind, Vinnie Gerard over the Clover, Padre Hogan, Balladiera, Ivor, David Robertson, Tower Hamlets, Graham Clutterbuck, Master Owen, Martin Lillen, Classic Chance, Alex Cherry, Nurai Classic, David Robertson, Agnetta's Eagle, Graham Clutterbuck and Matt Cooper has got the bottom one, they're away and racing, and they're very short running to the first, they're all safely over the first, that bottom one was Philly Eagle, as they head towards the second of the 22 and Murty's pride, the John Morgan horse being driven into the lead. Obviously going to try and set a stiff pace for this one as they get over number two. And Murty's pride leads into this ditch. Safely over that one. And Murty's pride take them up past the stands seeing them from the inside of the track at the moment Tower Hamlet is in second the rest of them are pretty tightly grouped Activist is just the back marker hopefully we'll get a get them from the other side next time round or from the time round after they've got two circuits to go and Murty's Pride is the leader from Tower Hamlet in second then Ronaldo third ahead of Master Owen in fourth on the inside then the Tree Man the top weight a class act in a race obviously Towards the back, the second top weight activist is the current back marker. Balladiera Ivor is also towards the rear, but it's Murty's Pride who's got a two length lead. Doesn't appear to be going quite as quickly as some of these John Morgan front runners do, but they've got them pretty well strung out already, anyway. And heading towards the next long run to this next fence, which is the plain fence double for want of a better description. Oh, Doug was probably the first person. That I've heard referred to it as a double, but it is a double really, they're pretty close together. The railway's later on of course, but it's Murty's pride in the lead, Tower Hamlet second, then there's a four length gap back to Ronaldo, and uh, Master Owen, Philly Eagle the bottom one next as they get over that plain one, all safely over it in a short run to the second of that little double, they're all safely over that one as well, so all still on their feet then, heading down to a plain fence next and then a ditch. And then on, no, it's a ditch next, and then the plane fence, and then the railway. So they're all safely over. That is a faller out of the back. Balladiera Ivor's gone. So Balladiera Ivor is a faller. Now that one. Definitely used to be a water jump down the back. Yeah, so it might have been here in between that ditch and these railway fences. So check next time I see a real race at Sandown. Anyway, they're all safely over the first part. No, they're not. There's a fall of their new ride classic. So, bad luck for David Robertson. Lost both of his horses in this already. And the rest of them are over the railway safely. And now heading towards the pond fence with Murty's Pride. Now five lengths clear of Tower Hamlet in second. The Tree Man is third. Then over the Clover Soldrons Garden. Ronaldo, Master Owen in between them on the rail. And then Philly Eagle. A little couple of gaps behind them to Haberley. Then Dark Hand Tribulation and keep the contract with Classic Chance and Grudge Belt. Then El Centro, wonderful activist, has made a bit of ground. Hot Springs Wheels is next. And then Agnetta's Eagle. And finally, finding Alice, the only grey in the field, which is a bit of a surprise. The back marker as they get over the pond. And they're all safely over the pond with Murty's Pride continuing to show the way. Length and a half up on Tower Hamlet in second. Master Owens now moved move through into third. towards this next fence this will be the second last on the next circuit plain fence now take a ditch next which is going to be the final fence as well this ditch wouldn't be in real life that's normally a double fence with a plane on one side but they're safely over it and Murty's pride is going to lead them up the hill and past the winning post and then we'll swing out for a complete circuit of the track so Murty's pride in the lead then Tower Hamlet is in second Ronaldo is back in third with the tree man four and then Master in five over the clover six Philly Eagle seven and Soldier's Garden eight Hamlet nine Dark and Tribulation next then keep the contract grudge belt classic chance El Centro wonderfuls after that Agnetta's Eagles made a bit of ground 
then Activist and Hot Springs wins and finally the grey finding Alice is the back marker well it's Murty's Pride who continues to show the way home Tower Hamlet in pursuit two lengths back in second Ronaldo is in third Master Owen just fourth on a three of them there with Philly Eagle over the clover Saldron's guard has just took him behind him. In fact, that's a line of four there because the tree man is in that little group as well. So this long run then there towards the next two plain ones that come up quickly after each other. There's a long one to them. And Murty's Pride was in the lead last time round and he's in the lead this time round as well. From Tower Hamlet in second, Ronaldo is third. And a line of four of them sharing fourth. And Saldron's guard after that, Habily is next as they get to this double all safely over the first part of it and all safely over the second as well although Agnetta's Eagle wasn't exactly foot perfect at the back as they take this ditch and all over that one okay that time Agnetta's Eagle jumped it a bit like a dancing queen very nicely so Mercy's prize a leader from Tower Hamlet in second, Ronaldo is third, then Master Owen and Philly Eagle with Saldron's Garden and the Tree Man. They get down to the business end of the race, the railways, the pond, and then the two in the straight to go. And it's Murty's Pride who attacks into that first pond fence. It's over it nicely into the second. You can see these fences are so close together, the leaders are taking the next one, while the back markers are still taking the one before. They all successfully negotiated those three pond fences, and that, those three railway fences, and now they're heading down to the pond fence, and Murty's Pride is six lengths clear of Ronaldo in second. Habble is the one who's moved out of the pack into third. Darren Thompson doing well in these staying chases of late. In fourth place, he's Master Owen. The tree man is fifth. These have gone clear of El Centro. Wonderful. Philly Eagle is after that one, and then Grudge Belt Hot Springs wins. He's still trying to on the rest of them are probably out of it but it's Murty's Pride who leads coming into the pond then the third from home Murty's Pride from Ronaldo and Abberley Master Owen back in fourth then the tree man under a big weight El Centro wonderful running on and going past that one as they head into the straight and to the final two and Murty's Pride doesn't look like he's stopping Ronaldo running a big race in second Abberley still there in third then Master Owen the one who's making really good ground now is Dark and Tribulation also El Centro wonderful Hot Springs wins over the second last they go and it's Murty Murty's Pride who's clear still. Murty's Pride from Ronaldo. Dark and Tribulation looks the danger. This is the final fence. Murty's Pride pops over it. He gets over it. Well, he's clear. He's racing up the hill. They're not going to get anywhere near him. And John Morgan having a great end to the season. If he ran all his horses every week, he'd probably be the champion. But he doesn't. And Murty's Pride takes it. Selective in his races. And this one's won this one nicely. Murty's Pride wins it. Dark and Tribulation second. Ronaldo third. Then Hot Springs wins happily. El Centro wonderful. Philly Eagle. The previous winner, Finding Alice, was running on but never got anywhere near the leaders. And Murty's Pride. Another big race, long distance winner for John Morgan. I wonder if that one's qualified for the Moore's Millions next week. Murty's Pride for John Morgan, the winner. Dark and Tribulation, James Shea second. Ronaldo, Matt Cooper third. Hot Springs wins, Vinnie Gerrard fourth. And in fifth place was Haverley for Darren Thompson. <laughs>